In this video, I will thoroughly explain how to use GrassCache. XLawGen, TextGen, Dindalod, and VramR all together. Although I've covered the usage of tools like TextGen, Dindalod, and GrassCache in previous videos, this time I will explain the sequence and methods for using all these programs. This guide is based on Mod Organizer. And before watching, ensure that all the programs shown in the video are installed through Mod Organizer. The titles and links to these programs are listed in the YouTube description, so please check them and download and install any that are missing before watching. GrassCache pre-generates grass data to improve game performance and visual quality by saving grass models and placement information to files. This reduces the CPU load when loading new areas in the game. It not only significantly enhances performance by reducing the CPU burden, but also improves the consistency and rendering distance of grass, thereby increasing immersion. If you have installed all the required programs beforehand, GrassCache should be added to the Mod Organizer tool plugins. However, before running it, open the Grass Control text file and ensure that the values are set as shown in the video. This will help ensure everything is configured correctly. The overwrite min grass size value is related to grass density, and I personally consider it an important parameter. For grass mods like Skoglendi, where low grass density results in sparsely placed grass, it is advisable to lower this value to increase grass density. However, for grass mods like Freak's Floral Fields, even with lower grass density, the overall appearance remains consistent. So setting the overwrite min grass size value to around 60 still gives a well-arranged feel. By generally setting the overwrite min grass size value higher to lower the grass density, you can also enhance your Skyrim's performance. Therefore, finding the optimal value for the grass mod you are using is crucial. Before running grass cache, set your Skyrim resolution to 400 by 240. This will speed up grass cache processing, allowing it to generate more quickly. If a CTD occurs while using grass cache, don't worry. Grass cache will automatically reconnect and continue its task. So leave it as is and do not press the run or exit button. Previously, you might have checked the progress by pressing the console key while running Skyrim through Grass Cache. However, there's no need for that anymore. Instead, you can verify if Grass Cache is working in real time by checking the Grass folder being generated within the Mod Organizer's Overwrite folder. It takes about 30 minutes, and once completed, you will see a completion message. Afterward, create an empty mod in Mod Organizer and move the Grass folder from the Overwrite folder into the empty mod. This completes the Grass Cache process. Remember to revert the resolution to your previous settings before playing the game again. Parallax Gen provides dynamic mesh patches to enable parallax, complex materials, or true PBR based on the textures in your load order. It is useful when you have installed a mod with parallax or complex material textures, but no corresponding meshes. When parallax complex material meshes are overridden by another mod, or when you want to use both complex material and parallax textures without using mod author provided meshes. To use Parallax Gen with Mod Organizer, register the Parallax Gen file as an executable under modify executables and run it from there. For the first run, specify the game location and output location. Check zip output in the output location and click start patching. If you're using community shaders and want to use the latest true PBR functionality, make sure to check true PBR in the top right corner. Once you start the patch, the program will automatically proceed with the task. After completion, a zip file will be generated in the output location you specified. Install the mod by adding and activating this file, and you should be able to use Parallax Gen without much difficulty. If you have completed the Parallax Gen process, it is now time to patch LOD using XLogGen. XLogGen is an essential tool for automatic LOD generation in games, especially if you are using mods like Green Tundra or Seasonal Skyrim. For instance, without patching with XLogin, the Tundra region's LOD might appear brown, causing an immersion-breaking transition from brown to green when loading cells. To fix this, you need to patch LOD using XLogin. First, in Mod Organizer, click the Edit button, then click the plus icon next to Executables and select Add from File. Navigate to the folder where XLogin is installed and click on the XLogin X64 file. Set the start in field to the folder where Skyrim is installed and enter dash SSE in the arguments field. Check the force load libraries option and then click apply. 
Once XLogGen has finished loading, select the world spaces for which you want to generate LOD by right-clicking in the blank area on the left and choosing Select All. On the right, check the boxes and configure the settings as shown in the video. If you've set everything up as demonstrated, click the Generate button. XLogin will then automatically start generating LOD. After some time, you will receive a notification that the process is complete. You can verify this by checking the Meshes and Textures folders within the Overwrite folder, where you'll find the Terrain folder created by XLogin. Following the same steps as before, create a new empty mod in Mod Organizer and give it a name. Then, create Meshes and Textures folders within this new mod and move the Terrain folders from the Overwrite folder into the newly created mod. By activating this mod, you will be able to use the LOD generated by XLogin. Once you have completed the work with XLogin, it is time to use TextGen. TextGen is a tool that updates specific object LOD textures and tree grass LOD billboards, which are then used by Dindalod to create the final texture atlases used in the game for object LOD and tree LOD. When you download Dindalod from the link in the description, TextGen is included along with it. Just like you added XLogin through Mod Organizer, you need to add TextGen and Dindalod as well. For the binary, select Dindalod X64 and TextGen X64 from the folder where Dindalod is installed. Set the start in field to the folder where Skyrim is installed and enter dash SSE in the arguments field. Then click apply. By following these steps, you will ensure that both TextGen and Dindalod are properly set up and ready for use. While the process for using TextGen is not vastly different from what I've previously explained, this time, to generate higher quality tree and grass LODs, we should check both HD grass and HD tree. Set the remaining values as shown in the video, and then run TextGen. The program will automatically start generating the necessary files. Once the process is complete, you will be prompted to create a zip file. When this prompt appears, create the zip file and then install it as you would with any mod. This will ensure that the TextGen files are properly installed. Once you have completed generating the output with TextGen, it is time to run Dindalod. However, before running Dindalod, please click on the two blue arrow backup icons as shown in the video. This is because certain mods may cause errors when running Dindalod, and these mods need to be disabled beforehand. After generating all the output with Dindalod, you will need to reactivate the mods that were disabled due to errors. Since rearranging the mods can be a cumbersome and complex process, it is advisable to create backup files in advance and then disable the mods that are likely to cause errors. After launching Dindalod and seeing the settings window, click on Advanced. Next, select all the cells you want to work on under the Advanced section. In the options below, Configure the settings exactly as shown in my video. Make sure to check Ultra Tree LOD and Grass LOD. If you have set the rest of the values to match those in the video, click the OK button to start generating the LOD. Once the Dindalod process is complete, you will see a message asking if you want to save the output as a zip file. Choose to output the files as a zip file. Next, in Mod Organizer, click the two yellow arrow icons from left to right. You will be prompted to select a mod list to roll back to. Select the mod list as it was just before you ran Dindalod. After rolling back, install the zip file generated by Dindalod as you would with any mod and activate it. This way, you can use the mods that caused errors along with Dindalod without having to rearrange your mod order. Once you have completed the work with Dindalod, it is time to use VRAMR. VRAMR optimizes texture files to reduce VRAM usage, improve performance, and reduce stuttering. This mod automatically optimizes your texture mods with minimal quality loss, significantly reducing stuttering. Add the VRAMR.bat file to Mod Organizer. Check Force Load Libraries, and use Applications icon for desktop shortcuts, and then click Apply. Run VRMR through Mod Organizer. Once the program starts, select the folder where Skyrim is installed and click OK button. You will then see four options. Press H for high quality textures, Q for quality textures, P for performance focused textures, and V for vanilla level textures. I recommend selecting P for performance focused textures. Choose a folder to save the output files. I suggest creating an output folder within the VRAMR installation directory and selecting that folder. Next, choose Layered Extract by pressing L. Select the Profile folder. 
typically located within the mod organizer directory. VRAM R will start generating the texture files, which can take around two to three hours. This optimization is essential if high resolution textures or numerous retexture mods impact your gameplay. Start the process before taking a nap or going out, and it should be complete upon your return. Once the process is done, you'll see a message indicating completion. The textures folder in the output location will contain all the optimized textures. Before moving the textures folder, open it, and you will see that all the textures from the mods you have installed have been optimized by VRAMOR and are now located within this folder. Create a new mod, place the textures folder inside it, and activate it in Mod Organizer to apply the optimized textures to Skyrim. Congratulations on completing the process. With this, we conclude the guide video on using various tools to optimize and achieve the highest quality for landscapes and objects. The process may be lengthy and challenging, but once completed, it enhances the quality of various objects and landscapes while optimizing textures, making your Skyrim gameplay much smoother and of higher quality. I hope this guide has been truly helpful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing, liking, and enabling notifications. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Have a wonderful end to 2024 and start 2025 with a fresh perspective. See you in the next video. Enjoy your Skyrim experience.